Hi everybody, it's me Susie. I feel like it has been so long since I've done a video um, because I haven't really been anywhere to use any bags and things just started opening up again. But um, back at the end of March, I did for my birthday order a new lug bag and it, I ordered the lug zip liner and I ordered it in the print Lily Sand. And this is the bag right here. And I thought about doing a video ages ago when I first got it and I thought no because I haven't had a chance to carry it and see how I like it and how it's working for me. So I wanted to have a chance to give it a go for you know a good couple of weeks before I let you know how much I like this or if I really don't like it or what's going on. So let me show you what I've got packed in here. I could actually fit a whole bunch more. This is really cute. But for my day-to-day -day life, it's actually a little too big, but I think it would be a fantastic bag for traveling. Or if you have kids still in diapers, I think it would make a great diaper bag. Um, or if you're commuting to work and need to carry a bunch of stuff with you. So excuse my sweaty mess. Um, it's so hot, so hot. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just hot. <laughs> Maybe it's the change of life. I don't know. But let me go through and show you what I've got in here. Again, this is the Lily Sand Print. So it's kind of like a, almost like a cream background. And then it's got sage and gray colored palm leaves on there. And then the lilies are in the same amber color as the Lug Amber Bags and then a pink and a cerise or a hot pink. It's very, very pretty. It's a great bag if you live in a tropical climate or a great bag um, for the summertime because of the print. I think it's really cute. So uh, at the front, you have got two slip pockets there and there with two zippered pockets behind it. Then you have one large RFID protected pocket there you of course then have the lug cell phone pocket, which is fleecy lined. On the back, you have got one big po zippered pocket that runs along the length of the back. On the side, you have got an insulated pocket, oops, like there, which is insulated, which is nice for medications or cosmetics or a bottle of water. And then I'll go through the inside in a minute. So in this front pocket right here, I have nothing. And then behind it, I have got my uh, most reached for items. Hand sanitizer, of course, everyone's got that right now. This lip balm, which is amazing. I'm gonna link the website below. It's homemade goat's milk lip balm, but it's got SPF 15 in it and it is so, so, so good. I love it. In fact, I just had my mother-in-law order me some more. It's a friend of hers daughter who does it. It's really nice. They're out of North Carolina, I think, essentialjourneys.com. And then I have some Lysol um, breath thing because I don't know if you found, but wearing a face mask, if you've eaten, I never realized how like my breath was like not the best. So I've got that now. In here I have um, some Band-Aids. It's a great pocket for Band-Aids actually. Band-Aids and just some sanitizing wipes and some antiseptic wipes. And then behind that I have some more cosmetic-y things, a little hair clip. I have got a MAC lipstick and this is in a coffee, coffee and, I don't have my glasses on, coffee and something. It's nice, it's like a, a neutral. Um, I have another lip balm, this one is a chapstick. Another hair clip. I have got a Burt's Bees hand salve. And I have got a Eucerin uh, thing. So then behind that in the RFID protected pocket, and look at this lining. It's so pretty, really pretty. I have got my lug wallet. This is the lug tram wallet. My most favorite wallet ever. I think it is great. I love it, love it, love it, love it. In fact, if I'm going into the shops now, I don't even carry my bag. I just take this and this just comes with me. 
Okay, and then behind that you have got the cell phone pocket, which I'm recording on my phone right now, but it is the fleecy lining, which is nice. It protects your screen. Okay, in this insulated pocket right there, I actually just have some snacks for the kids. I've got some chocolate chip granola bars, and then I just have a good and gather almond and coconut bar for me. Um, a standard size water bottle, like a, like a plastic water bottle that you get from the grocery store, does fit in there. I've also used it for putting sunscreen in and bug spray, since that way if it spills, it's not gonna get over everything in the bag. Okay, the back zippered pocket, I have got my Kindle e-reader. And then there are two pen slots, so I just have one pen in there. And this is normally where my car keys go to. Okay, on the inside of the bag, oh, I was, hand, I, I, this is for hand sanitizer too. <laughs> on the inside of the bag, it looks like that. Very, very spacious, you can get a whole bunch in. On this side, you have two slip pockets. On that side, you have a privacy wall zipper pocket. And then um, there is also a key leash to attach your keys. So in the uh, kangaroo pockets right there, and one of them, I have got a kid's sunscreen. I've got my sunglasses in a um, sunglasses neoprene case. And then in the other pocket, I just have got my readers. I don't really carry a whole bunch, you know, especially now, I feel like I'm not out for any length of time. And then in the main part, I have got our uh, washable face masks. There is one for the whole family in here. Um, and then I just put it in this bumpkin snack bag so that I can throw this in the wash too. So when we're done using them, we'll put them in here and then the whole thing goes in the wash. And then in this little pouch, I just have my gym membership, which I haven't been going, and my um, earphones. And then in the back privacy pocket, I have got some tissues, some ibuprofen, a Wisp travel toothbrush, and then some more medications in this little pill case. So let me show you what it looks like on the body. Um, the good thing about this bag is it converts from a shoulder bag to a backpack. It is not a crossbody bag. I really don't know if there's any way you could turn this into a crossbody bag. It's either an over shoulder bag or a backpack. So let me show you what it looks like on the body. You can adjust these. So depending on if you're short or tall, you can adjust it so that you get the right backpack length. I am on the short side, I'm five foot, so I have it up quite high to this little toggle thing right here. So let me adjust this. This is it as a shoulder bag. Again, it does kind of remind me of a diaper bag, like all the pockets and the way it's set up. I think it would make a really, really good diaper bag. Okay, then to turn it into a backpack, it's so easy, all you do is grab two sides and pull it and ta-da you have got a backpack which looks like this and it's very very comfortable I mean these straps aren't padded but it is very comfortable and um, I really like the way it fits and you could probably even just sling it over one shoulder of the backpack too if you wanted to um, so yeah, I really, really like it. It's just a little bit too big for me for every day. But I think if you are a mom on the go with younger kids that have to carry like a pull-up or some snacks or change your clothes, it's great. I also think if you are traveling, it would be the perfect travel bag to take on the plane with you. And I really think it's a cute bag, just a little bit too big for me for everyday use, but definitely one I'd use when I'm traveling. Again, that is the Lug Zip Liner in the Lily Sand print. There's another close-up. And I hope you enjoy and stay safe, everyone. Thank you.